Welcome to Super Thursday summary um, where we talked about roundabout automation part one, where we first start to lay out the circular area and then create the um, profile uh, based on the intersected elements. So first what we will do is try to define here the circular area. Um, I'm use, using now the, um, the normal arc method based on edges. Um, it's an ordinary arc. You can do it also straight from stretch, but it's hard in, to find here the, um, the exact midpoint of the circle. So now I'm going to uh, convert this one in uh, civil geometry. So you can go into the open roads modeling, into the geometry, and here you've got the option also to uh, convert CAD elements into civil geometry. So just select it, make sure you've got the right feature definition. Uh, so at least you've got the plan geometry now. You can always uh, change the radius. Now we're going to do the uh, profile. So the profile, what you see is the green line is the terrain, which is active. And now we're going to, um, to include the intersected elements. So what you have to do is go here in the menu and then find the profile intersected point. Um, so what you can do is first select the circular area and then define or pick the uh, crossing elements. So uh, one more time, I will select the circular area and now uh, select the, um, the crossing points. You see also the, um, the highlights here in the uh, profile view. So these are dynamic points. Uh, whenever there's a change, uh, it will be automatically updated. So now I will connect the points uh, with uh, linear elements. You can always, um, so it's important to, um, to snap so snapping means there's a rule between the element and the point. Um, you can end here, so we have to make sure that the end point and the begin point are uh, at the same elevation. So um, I put them into a 0% uh, percent of slope. You can always check the elevations if you want, but this is uh, like a quick one. Um, I create here a little construction element to uh, make sure we are on the same elevation. Uh, and now I'm connecting again the uh, the begin. So the order doesn't uh, doesn't matter. So the direction, basically, you can uh, go from right to left, left to right. Uh, and now the last step is to create a complex element. So um, make sure you start at the beginning and then um, this is direction. So you see all the elevations and the last step is to make it active. So active means it becomes a tree element uh, right here. It should exactly be on the same location as uh, or elevation as the, uh, the intersected elements. So now we can create a corridor for the cir circular area. Um, so pick one of the templates in the workspace. Uh, if you don't have these, uh, you can create it yourself uh, or you can ask uh, the group to share with you the um, templates. So more important is that we pick the template from the outside to the inside. We say start and end, um, lock, it, lock it basically, and then you see the, um, the graphical element. So let's do a little bonus here. Um, I'm working on uh, the, the roundabout uh, for the civil cell, so this is how it's going to look like. So you've got the 3D on the right, 2D on the left, you select the, um, the elements for reference. Uh, now it's going to calculate the um, the area um, and this is the preview from the top um, so the edge of pavement and also the median um, accept and then uh, place it so um, it's going to generate um, all the graphics for us in plan and in 3d this is a work in process progress for the next time um, but this is how it's going to look like that we have to do repetitive task uh, every time uh, from a civil cell so thank you for watching and hope to see you soon again bye bye